co-host Grace Nurse, accompanying your host President Nolan Ellis Collins, and this is the GHS News. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I'ma pass it over like Stockton to Mackenzie for the current events. Good morning, I'm Mackenzie Williams Wright, and these are your current events. Seniors, check the guidance webpage or guidance office for scholarship opportunities. Gallia Academy will be offering the ASVAB test to any junior or senior interested in taking the test on Thursday, April 7th at 8 a.m. Complete the form on the Google Classroom Class of 2022 or 2023 to pre-register. Registration is due by Wednesday, April 6th. Cheer packets are due to Coach Hamid by Friday, April 8th. Turn them in to Mrs. Tackett by 3 p.m. No late packets will be accepted. Sophomores and juniors, if you're interested in joining the student leadership team, see Mr. Walker for an application. Why did the Easter Bunny have on a hat? Why? Because he was having a bad hair day. Hope you have an excellent Easter. Over to Courageous Kenny for the lunch next week. Hello, Guide Academy. This is Kenyon Franklin, and lunch is on you next week. Man, Kenny, I'm going to have a cheeseburger in paradise next week. And now for an anti-fighting PSA. Conflict. It has ravaged humanity for ages. From the Crusades to the Vietnam War, violent conflict has rarely achieved anything. Walk with me. Oftentimes in the hallways, students will get into arguments and that will escalate into some tussles. And they might get physical. But what they don't understand is that there's better ways to solve these problems. Hey, yo, 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 fellas, 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 stop. Stop it. Fellas, now let's just calm down because there are more peaceful ways to resolve this problem. Come with me. You're talking about peaceful One way to resolve conflict peacefully is through a conversation mediated by a mutual friend. So explain to me, you guys, why you were fighting in the hallway. He stole my lunch money at the cafeteria. Listen, man, I need help. And I, that's the only way I know how to get money, you know? I mean, I'm really sorry for stealing your lunch money. Thank just, you. Just, you know. Yeah, but like, it. next time, if you ever need help, just ask me. I can help you. Thanks, man. Thanks. That is how to solve a problem. Another way to resolve a conflict peacefully it's through a conversation mediated by a teacher. Hey gentlemen, let's, let's talk about what happened today. Dre, can we hear from you first? He stole my lunch money when I was in the lunch line, pushed me over. Tell me what happened. Mr. Daniels, can we hear your perspective? I'm just, I'm just hungry, you know. I'm out of money and I come from a tough home life and that's the only way I know how to resolve my conflicts. So, I mean, I want to apologize to you. Thank you. No, uh, but you could always explain your situation to me. I can always help out in the long run. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad we talked about this. Yeah. That's a peaceful solution. Another way to solve this conflict is through a mediated conversation with a counselor. All right, gentlemen, now that you've had some time to calm down, uh, let's try to talk about what got us to this point. You want to go I first? was in the middle of the lunch line. He pushed me over and stole my lunch money. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'll tell you where I'm coming from. I mean, I grew up with a tough home life. And that's like the only way I know how to get stuff is to steal. I mean, I'm really sorry I did that. I didn't know it affected you that much. Yeah, I was struggling to get money too, and pushed me over, took mine. You can always ask for help though. I can always help you. Thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad we saw this man. Now yeah. this was a peaceful solution. Another way to resolve conflict is through a peaceful conversation amongst yourselves. Hey, Dre. Hey, he. Listen, man, I just want to take time and apologize for my actions, especially in the lunchroom in the hallway. I know I haven't been the best of friends ever since I stole your money from the lunchroom. I mean, learning that you worked for that money and it was all yours, it just, it really, it really hurt me. I know it hurt you even more. I just want to apologize for shoving you over in the hallway. We, pro we probably should have just talked about our dispute rather than resort straight to violence. So, and I'm going to go to Miss Queen and start working on my anger issues so I can get better, to be a better friend towards you and towards everybody else in school. And thank you for your apology. Well, it means a lot. Well, uh, I'd like to apologize for talking about your family when you pushed me. Uh, 
it's okay. I, I understand where you're coming from. I did with that DDU earlier in the day, and then you know that happened up there. So I just really want to, yeah. I really want to apologize. Yeah, and like always, just come talk to me. I can help you out whatever situation you're in. Thing. I got you, man. Yeah. We good, man. Yeah. Now that was a peaceful solution. You look like a dictator! That's why your shoe's raggedy! Oh my god! Guys, there's other ways to solve this conflict, right, Trey? Yeah, we can talk to Miss Queen. Yeah, Leon, let's go talk to Miss Queen or Mr. Wright right now. Hey guys, hey, let's settle down, let's go talk about it. Alright? Thank you, Mr. Wright. Nolan Collins joint. <laughs> That's all, folks. Have a great spring break. And remember, the Russian ruble is worth about as much as a rock because the government sucks and their economy crashed. America, baby. We top two and we not two. City boys, we up. Anyways, I'm your host and president, Nolan Ellis Collins. And I'm your co-host, Grace Nurse, and that's all for the JHS News. Ukraine forever! Ukraine.